in this video, we're going to cover the setup process for installing WordPress locally. Now, a reminder, this is only for those of you who are not ready to publish a live website just yet. If you are ready to build a live website, you'll want to skip this video and jump ahead to the video on installing WordPress on a web host. So again, installing WordPress locally means you'll be able to explore the WordPress software, experiment with it, and build out a private website on your own computer. You'll be able to follow along with the entire course. Your site just won't be publicly accessible on the web. So to do this, we're going to use an application called Local. You can find this at localwp.com. Alternatively, if you have our companion site up here, wpcoursetools.com, you can scroll down to this section on the local WordPress installation and click here to download the local application. Side note here, if you do end up following this process and you build a local website that you're happy with, and you decide, hey, this is pretty good, I actually do want to publish this site, you can do that pretty easily. And we'll have a video tutorial here at this link where you can you know, see how to do that and move your local website to a web host so you don't have to start from scratch or anything like that. It's very straightforward. You're never locked in to a local website. You can always move it to a web host later. So, once you're on localwp.com, you'll want to start right here where it says download for free. You don't have to create an account. You'll choose your platform. I'm on a Mac, but it also supports Windows and Linux. And you can enter this information. I think the only thing required here is the email address. So you can skip the first name, last name, and phone number then click get it now. That will download the installer right here. And of course, this is gonna look a little different between Mac, Windows, and Linux, but if you've ever installed an application before, it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna follow the setup process as you normally would. And once you've completed the installation, go ahead and run the application agree to the terms of service and we'll hit no thanks on that you can create an account if you want to you don't have to you can actually exit out of this and then it'll say you haven't created any sites yet and it'll prompt you to create a new site so go ahead and click on that we're going to leave it selected on create a new site here then click continue now we're going to name the site. You can name it whatever you want. You can always change it later. So I'm going to call it Brad's local site. You can skip the advanced options and click continue. Uh, we will go preferred continue. Now you're going to set your WordPress username and your WordPress password. This is what you're going to use to sign into your WordPress dashboard where you manage your website and manage your content and basically do everything related to your website. So you definitely want to remember this if you want to make a note of it or add it to a password manager. So I'm just going to go with Brad and then enter a password here. And then we'll enter an email address. and we'll hit add site. It'll take a moment to create your website. If it prompts you to give it administrator privileges on Windows or here on Mac, if it asks you to enter your password, go ahead and do that. And after just a moment, your website will be ready to go. So here we are. You can see you have two options here, WP Admin. That's gonna be your WordPress admin interface, the dashboard where everything happens. And then you can actually open your site. So we're gonna to go to the WP Admin. And you can see the domain name that it's created is bradslocalsite.local. That's kind of what your domain is gonna look like when you're using local. Uh, and to log in, you're going to use the same credentials you just created. And 
And this is your WordPress dashboard. This is where you're going to manage everything about your website. Again, your site's appearance, all your content, everything we do for the rest of the course is going to happen here. So remember this and notice that it's brad's local site dot local slash wp dash admin so it's whatever your site is called slash wp dash admin that is the location of your wordpress dashboard and that's true whether you're creating a local site or a live site on a web host it's always going to be slash wp dash admin that's where you're going to manage your site so again, this is your WordPress dashboard. We're gonna look at this in a lot of detail as we move forward. But if you wanna see what your website looks like, go right up here to the top where your site title is and hit visit site. So this is my website. This is what I've got so far. It's pretty simple, not a lot going on here. We've got one post. We've got some very basic information here, a little menu, but it is a website. And as we move forward, we are going to customize this and create something really cool. So again, just because you're creating a website locally doesn't mean there's any limitations in terms of what you can do with WordPress. The only limitation is that your website is not live on the internet, right? So again, you'll be able to follow the entire course. And if you ever decide that you want to, you can move this to a web host and publish your site in the future, just go ahead and check out that video on our companion site, wpcoursetools.com. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and move forward.